Welcome to another episode of Super Kids. This is our first prize, a family tour ticket to the Philippines. Pretty cool, huh? Who would like this? Yeah? Who wants to be a super kid? Who wants to be the school champion? And what's the name of your school? Welcome, let's start the show! Beautiful mind, beautiful thoughts. Welcome to Seoul Okjung Elementary School. It's a school filled with beautiful students. To help the students stay smart and happy, the school library is open even after school hours. Points are given to the kids who read a lot. To increase the number of books they can borrow, they even get bookworm certifications. To keep the students fit and healthy, PE class is not just about sports, but fun and games. The students have so much fun. There is even a school swimming pool, but make sure you warm up before jumping in. Also, there is a swimming club for the students who take swimming a little more seriously. It's the volunteer work time which started three years ago. All the students do their bit to keep the school clean and neat. Even the parents lend a hand. No wonder the school looks so good. Our Okjong들이 기대 떨지 말고 어 자신 있게 아 모두가 잘하길 바랍니다. 우리 Okjong들 힘내세요. The year still feels very fresh, and we're very excited about this fresh beginning. Um, of course, we have four teams that are fighting for two positions. Only two teams can move on. Those are the high-scoring teams. They hear hints, connected to words, connected to points. Hopefully, they'll score a lot of points. Let's meet our first team. Hi, how is your year going so far? Mm. 2009's OK? Yes. OK. Well, hopefully this round goes okay. Let's look at the letters. What's your choice? D. D. Seasons. Do you have a favorite season? Yes. Spring. Because? Because in spring there are many flowers and many plants. Excellent. And you kind of look like a nice flower yourself, very pink. <laughs> Let's go to seasons. Let's see if spring comes up. This white stuff falls from the sky in the winter. Snow. This man brings us Christmas presents. Santa Claus. A human figure made to keep birds away from crops. <laughs> this is a flower that blooms in fall. Pests. In Korea, a new school year starts in this month. March. A popular place during summer vacation. Spring. This keeps you warm in winter. Pests. Frogs wake up from winter sleep this season. Spring. This is a flower that blooms in fall. Watermelon. We often make this fruit into jam. Strawberry. This insect drinks people's blood. Mosquito. A water sport that uses two poles. Pass. A human figure made to keep birds away from crops. Hitter. A big fruit that is green on the outside and red inside. Wow. Okay, okay, not bad. Seasons, that's right, and they got seven points. Good job, guys. Let's have another team come on out. <laughs> First team, 
not so bad. Pretty good start. Seven points. Let's meet our second team. Hi. You know, the first team had the topic of seasons. Do you have a favorite season? Yes. Which is? A summer. How come? Uh, I like beach. You like the beach? Yes. Okay. Well, let's see what letters there are. A. A. Numbers. Interesting. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite number or a lucky number for you? Uh, seven. Seven. Very lucky number. Okay. Let's go to numbers. Let's see what comes out. Hopefully you score high. A clock tells you this. You learn how to add and subtract in this class. A round type of money. Coin. A secret number to open the account. Password. This shows days, weeks, and months of a year. Calendar. You get a year older on your birthday. Age. This machine helps you add and subtract numbers. Pest. You use this to measure the size. Lula. Books have electronic numbers on it. Barcode. You use this to turn on the TV. Remote control. A cube with numbers from 1 to 6 written on the side. Uh, telephone. You need this to talk to someone far away. Uh, telephone. A clock tells you this. Time. This machine helps you Calculator. add. Calculator. Okay. Good. Something like a 59.28 seconds. I heard calculator, so they got 11 points. Good job. <laughs> the teams are getting better and better. Let's see if that trend continues. Hi, this is our third team. How are you feeling? Fine. Okay, let's look at the letters. E. E's your choice. Legs. Does anything come to mind when you hear legs? Ankle. Okay, ankle. Connected. It's part of the part of the leg. Yeah. Let's see what comes up. Let's go. Let's walk to legs. This sea animal has eight legs. Octopus. A sport played by kicking a ball. Sucker. This looks like a lobster and has a poisonous sting. A oh, piss. You have to wear toe shoes to learn this dance. Oh, knee. This part of the leg bends. Knee. These are long, thin socks made of nylon. Blue pants that are made of strong cloth. Jeans. This insect has six legs and lives in underground tunnels. Pass. You ride this chair when you can't walk. Bicycle. You run slowly for exercise. Jogging. You wear these on your feet at the beach. Sandals. You have to push the pedals to move. Bicycle. So bicycle. This looks like a lobster and has a poisonous sting. Real. You have to wear toe shoes to learn this dance. Uh, ballet. These are long, thin socks made of nylon. Stockings. This insect has six legs and, and lives. Very good. Okay. Pretty high score. Pretty high score. That thing that's a poisonous is a scorpion. And they got uh, ten points. Very high. Let's have another team. Come on out. Score so far. We got seven, eleven, and ten. Let's see how our final team does. Okay, so how many points do you think your team's gonna score? Eleven. Eleven, or hopefully twelve. We'll see, right? Yeah. Let's choose a letter. F. F. Tree. Okay, so um, what comes to mind when you hear tree? Seed. Seed. That's right. The beginning of a tree. Okay, well, let's begin our tree section here. The part of the tree that grows under the ground. Root. A person that takes care of the flowers and plants. Shavar. A type of bird that makes holes in tree trunks. Leaf. Plants grow from this in the ground. Forest. The leaves grow out from this part of the tree. A tree which has green leaves all the year round. Pine. A small round fruit that grows on a tree. Um, squirrel. 
You can make a notebook with this. Pes. An area full of trees. Flower. This small animal likes to climb trees. Si. You can dig the ground with this. Pes. Roses and lilies are kinds of this. Flower. A person that takes care of the Gardener. flowers and a type of bird that makes holes in tree trunks. Si. Plants grow from this in the ground. Si. The leaves grow out from this part of the tree. Branch. Uh, okay. Yeah. Of course, that bird that makes holes is. <laughs> it's a woodpecker. They did okay. Not an easy category. Five points. Let's <laughs> move on. guys have shown they're very wise, very smart, and very fast. Now, it's no longer a team thing, it's individuals. That's right. And we're going to go from 20 to 10 very fast. Our topic is this. Nils is a playful young boy full of mischief. One day, he is tormenting a tomte. He is shrunk to the size of a thumb. He then goes on an adventure with some wild geese. Some weird and wonderful things happen to Nils. The story is The Wonderful Adventures of Nils by Selma Lagerlof. We have some wonderful questions. Let's have two wonderful people come on out. The year 2009 is still very young. A lot of people at the beginning of the year make resolutions. Number one, did you make any New Year's resolutions? Uh, I will study hard. Study hard, good one. How about you, number 11? I will read more books. Read more books, excellent. Okay, let's get to our question about a book. Here it is. The flock of wild geese met the tame geese and suggested going to this place together. It is located in northern Scandinavia. Where was it? Number Lapland. 11. Lapland. That's right, Lapland! Okay, excellent job. You got it right. And uh, of course, the next thing to do is have two more. Come on out, come on out! Okay, number two, do you have a favorite subject? Yes, science. Science. Okay, how about you, number 12? I like math. Math, nice. Here's your question, hope you like it. Every spring, the animals had a big play meeting on the most beautiful mountain in Skane. Number 12. Kulaberry. Yeah. Wow! Okay. A little more complicated than those, uh, uh, I guess, hair bands or the hair hats. Okay, let's have two more. Come on out. After Nils became a dwarf, he went to this place to look for the elf. However, the animals didn't help him. Where was it? Number 13. Barn. Yep. In which country does the story The Wonderful Adventures of Nils? Number 14. Sweden. Sweet job. Sweden is right. Very good. Nils held on to the goose, which was raised on the farm. Morten. What was the leader of the wild geese 
Number six. Aka. Yeah. Aka. This animal kept looking for a chance to eat the wild geese. Number seven. Fox. Right at. Bow, 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 bow. Yes. The crows and the fox kidnapped Nils to open the jar they found in the woods. What was in the jar? What was inside that jar? Number eight. Um, silver coin. Yeah, silver coins. Correct the mundo. You look fantastic in pink. Okay, let's have two more. Come on out. It's very cold. What's your favorite thing about winter number nine? Your favorite thing about winter? Um, favorite thing? Um, snow. The I snow? like snow. How about you, 19? Do you have something you really like about winter? Snowman. Snowman, all right. Let's go now to the question. The gray goose told Akka to be careful when she reached Olin Southern Point as people used a cannon to scatter this. What was it? It's hard to see when this occurs. London is famous for this. It's almost like clouds that are very, very low. It's very difficult to see. The world is kind of white or gray, as if there's smoke all around. Number 19? Foggy. Foggy. There you go. It's foggy. That's right. The London fog. It's tough to drive in that fog. OK, well, we have two more. Please come on out. One thing that's very nice about winter is winter vacation. So number 10, got anything going on? Any special plans? I'm planning to play snowball fights with my friends. Yeah, snowball fights. Great. How about you, 20? I don't know. Don't know? All right. Hey, why not? It's vacation. Don't got to plan it out. But we have a plan to give you a question. Dunfin, the Grey Goose, told Nils a myth about this city, which was related... Number 10. Stockholm. Stockholm. Good job. Good job. I wonder if that's where Sherlock Holmes was from, Stockholm. We did it. We went from 20 to 10. We're going to continue this process very soon. But... We want to give everybody who kind of fell by the wayside a chance in our next segment. Stay tuned. Go Oak Chung. Okay, guys, put your boards down. Pretty soon, I'll tell you to raise your boards after we get some questions from Dami. That's right, Isaac. I will help you out and tell you some questions. Okay, for this question, I want you to go ahead and think of your favorite animal, okay? Because it might be this answer. In the story Pinocchio, this animal let Pinocchio know how the fairy was doing. It carries a shell and moves very slowly. What is it? Hopefully you listened carefully. What's the answer? Five, four, three, two, one. Raise your boards. Is your favorite animal a snail? That's the answer. Keep the boards up. Keep them up. OK, 
for this question, I want you to go ahead and think of all the parts of your body, because it might be the answer for this question. This organ requires oxygen more than any other body part, and it is also the title of a novel by a French author named Bernard Weber. What is it? This body part requires a lot of oxygen. Five, four, three, two, one. Raise those boards, please. Raise them up. I see a lot of answers. Heart, lung, nose, brain. What's the correct answer? Brain is right. Brain it is. Keep them up, keep them up, keep them up. Keep them up. Okay, this next question is a math question, okay? So while I'm reading it, it might be a good idea to take down some notes. In Chi Young's class, 22 students like English and 20 students like math. 12 students like both English and math. And five students hate both English and math. How many students are there in Chi Young's class? Okay, I'll repeat that. Kind of complicated. In Ji Young's class, 22 students like English and 20 students like math. 12 students like both English and math. Five students hate both English and math. How many students are there in Ji Young's class? If you write your answer, hide your board. Five, four, three, two, one. Raise them up, raise them up, raise them up. The answer is 35. 35, keep them up, keep them up, 35. We have accomplished our goal. We have four that are moving on and joining the other 10 that have been waiting patiently with their nice uh, caps. Okay, thank you very much, Tommy. You're welcome, Isaac, and congratulations to the three ladies and one gentleman. And I wish you the best of the luck for the rest of the game. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Okay, guys, let's move on, shall we? <laughs> very good, very good. A variety of categories await you guys, but each category has four hints. You might guess the right answer after two hints, maybe after one. That's almost impossible, but it's been done. Sometimes you need all four hints to get that one word. Now only five of you can move on. So let's get to our first question. If you're ready, the first hint. What has something to do with the following words? Promise, ring. All right, looks like 13 has pressed. Mary? Is that right? Mary H? No, that's not it. We're going to number seven now. Hang on a second. And your answer is? Finger. Finger. Okay, very good. Think about it. There's the finger, pinky promise, and the ring, of course, promise uh, of marriage. That's what it means for your lifetime. And manicure and other things were not necessary. You got it, very good. That's one spot filled. Here is our next question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Princess Nang Nang. Percussion. 
Timpani. Okay, 13, your answer? Drum. Okay, very good. Very good. That's right. Timpani. Drum roll. Two spots filled. Good job, guys. Here's our next question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Baseball. Wow, one hint. Sport? No. Here's our next hint. Cat. Hydra. September. Okay, number 40, hang on a sec, we'll get the mic to you. And your answer is? Nine. Yeah. <laughs> Baseball has usually nine innings. That's right, then we had the cat, nine lives. Hydra, nine heads. September is the ninth month. Okay, so three spots down, two left. Here's the next question. What has something to do with the following words? Chess. Playing cards. All right, number 14 was first. Board games. No. Another hand. Arthur. Oh, number 27 was first. Hang on a sec, we'll get the mic to you. Number 27, what's your answer? King. Yeah! <laughs> King Sejong the Great was not necessary. Arthur was enough. Of course, playing cards, you might see a king there. As a face card and chess, there's that important piece, the king. All right, excellent. We have our final spot. Let's fill it. Here's the question. What comes to mind when you hear the following words? Web. Poison. Oh, 14. Tarantula. Going to 22 now. Spider. Yeah. Spider is right. Very good. Actually, tarantula was our fourth hint. And then Charlotte, like Charlotte's Web. But you did it. Very good job. Excellent. OK, so we have our final lists, five of them. And hopefully they're ready for some excitement. Hopefully you are too. Stay tuned. Chung, go Oak Chung. <laughs> yes, the kids are excited, and we're getting closer and closer to finding our school champion. These are our five finalists. Amazing folks, yes indeed, we know that, they know that, but who will be the last person standing? We'll find out. They all start with 100 points because they've done so good so far, and they can only get more points, no deductions. How many more points? Well, there's increments of 10, 20, or 30, unless they use a chance where they double the value of the question. 
Okay, let's see the board of those 10, 20, and 30 point questions. Lots of familiar categories. I'm a big fan of Super Korea, but let's go with the rational, the logical question for 10 points. Of the following, which one is different from the others? BBC, NHK, Arirang, The Times, CNN. Number seven. NHK. No. Number 27. The Times. Yeah. Yeah. All those other ones are broadcasting stations, like Arirang. The Times sounds like a newspaper to me. Okay, so I heard 27 that you are very interested in the future, is that right? Yes. What about the future are you interested in? I'm interested about global warming and I want to protect the Earth. Global warming wants to protect the Earth. That is worth a couple extra points. I can't give them to you, but you're the first on the board, 110. What's your choice of a category? Equal. Another 10 point question. Let's go to equal. Look at the relation between the following words, then figure out what word should go in the blank. Seaton is to animal, as Faber is to blank. Number 27. Insects. Yeah. Insects. Very good job. Of course, you need to know that. If you want to save the environment, insects are part of the environment. Excellent job. Choose again. Words. Words going to knock out all the 10 points. Let's go to words. What word commonly fits in all the blanks? Post blank. Red blank. Credit blank. Number 13. Card. Are you sure? Yes. He says yes. Yeah. That's right. Postcard, red card, you don't want that in soccer, and credit card. Be careful how you use those things. Okay, good job, 13. What's something you'd like to do with dad? What's something you enjoy doing with, with your dad? I like to, I like to play badminton play with badminton. my dad. Okay. So, please choose a category. Stars. Stars. Our first higher point question, 20 points. The shepherds in Mesopotamia first named the constellations in the night sky. Then around 2000 BC, today's constellations were created as astronomy was passed onto this country. People in this country named the constellations after their gods, heroes, and animals. Number 40. Greece. Is that the right answer? Yeah. Gee, gee, tied for the lead. Right now, two folks have 120 points. Now, I heard you like to sing, is that right? Yes. And do you have a favorite song? I like Dancing Queen made by ABBA. ABBA, Dancing Queen. Um, would you mind singing just a teeny bit for us? Okay. Dancing Queen, feel the beat from the tambourine. All right, little hand, huh? <laughs> Woo! Teacher singer. Awesome job. Okay. Thank you very much. It's not easy when you're put on the spot. Please choose a category. Super Korea. Super Korea for 20 points. My favorite category. Past all the alleys that are connected like a big maze. Ta-da! Here it is. It's the Pukchon Museum where you can see everyday living goods from the past. 
things that have been handed down from our ancestors are on display. Follow me and I'll show you around. Once you step into this family home building, you'll see lots of things that may be difficult to see these days, such as this huge cooking pot and the winnowing basket that separates grains from husks. It's like visiting an old country home. In the rooms, there are some curious-looking kitchen utensils, telephone and TV from the past. You can touch and even try using all the objects that are in the museum. In the old days, when there were no iron, people used these wooden baths to make clothes smooth. It's just as good as using an electric iron. Pukchon is an area that has 600 years of Seoul's history preserved to this day. Being here, it's like a trip back in time. Now here is the question. This is a Korean traditional heating system where the floor is heated by smoke from a stove or agungi. It has great heat efficiency the facility and fuel are inexpensive, and it will not catch on fire. What is this underfloor heating called? Number seven. Under. Under. Is that correct? Yes, it is. Yeah, sometimes. It gets super hot when you have very hot floors. The Ondor, Ondor heating system. Excellent job. Okay, uh, number seven. You spent some time in Southern California, right? Yes. And do you have kind of a favorite memory? Yes, I've been to Universal Studios. Universal Studios. All right, a nice place to visit. Please help us visit a place on the board. Music. Music, our first 30-point question. Remember, if anybody wants to do it, press your buzzer down, put your chance up. It's our first 30-point question. Category is music. Anybody going for it? Nope. Then it's worth 30 points. You're listening to a song called Hayden Lois Line by Werner. This song was made in 1771, based on the poem written by a German writer. He wrote the poem in college while he was in love. His great works include The Sorrows of Young Werther and Faust. Who is he? Not easy. It's not easy. That's why it's a 30 point question. We want to know the name of this writer responsible for Faust, the sorrows of young Werther. The last name is the key name. The key name. So if you get the last name right, we'll give you the 30 points. Who wrote this? This writer, whose last name begins with the letter G. Five seconds. Okay. So nobody got it. Nobody got it. Not easy. Definitely not easy. Goethe, G-O-E-T-H-E, -E, a tough one to say and also a tough one. That's why it's worth 30 points. The 30 point questions are not easy. Those are the rules. Okay. So choose again another category. History. History, another 30 point question. Number 40's going for it. 13's going for it. 7's going for it. So if you guys get it, it's worth 60 points. The other folks were 30. Now remember, we only have two, let's see, two more questions remaining after this. It's a very close game. Three people tied with 120 points. Next person, 110. Then 100. They're all very, very close. Here's the first real big one. Whoever gets this is clearly going to be in the lead. 
This person passed away on January 8th, 647. This person was Shilla's 27th ruler. This person... Number 13. Queen Sandok. If that's right, he jumps into the lead. Are you sure, 13? Yes. He gives us that young tableau look, the <sighs> famous rapper. He's not your young, older brother, is he? Yeah. No. Okay. If that's right, again in the lead. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is! Very good job! Excellent! Queen Sunda. Woo! Huge. That's huge. Okay, likes playing badminton with his dad, also knows a little about history. That's the right answer, good job. Now, two remaining categories. What's your choice, 13? Arang's numbers. Arang's numbers. Get your mental calculators ready. Let's go. Hello, super kids. I'm Arang, the math genius. Julie, a friend of mine, gave me a present. She gave me two dozen pencils. In other words, 24 pencils. I came home and gave three pencils to my brother. And then I weighed one of the pencils to see how heavy it is. It was four grams. If I weigh all the pencils that I have left, how many grams would they be all together? Number 40. 84 grams. 84 grams? That's pretty fast, you singing master. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is! <laughs> Dancing queen and math queen. Excellent job, number 40. Wow. That's pretty fast. Excellent calculations. So the weight of the remaining pencils, 84 grams. Fantastic. Okay, now we have one more category. The final category, a hold of my hand, it's building for 30 points. Yeah, that's what we were getting at. 22 and 27 are going for it. Number seven, 13, and 40 have tried. They've used their chance. It worked big time for number 13. Now, if 22 or 27 get it, it's gonna be huge. Of course, if number 40 gets it, it'll be a tie game. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Big one, building. Here's our final question. You're looking at the three most valuable works of art in this building, along with the Metropolitan. Number 13. Louvre Museum. We were just in the middle of the hint and you Press the, are you, are you sure? Yes. Okay, his answer, one more time please. Louvre Museum. That's his answer. He's in the lead right now. If he's correct, obviously stays in the lead and is a school champion. If not, someone else gets the opportunity. Is that the right answer? Yes, it is. Good job. Amazing, the loop. Well, I don't know what to say. Excellent job. Uh, let's go to the final round. Here's a school champion. Stay tuned. <laughs> Woo! Yeetan, I have a big nose, but I don't lie. Now, I gotta tell you, I didn't expect to see you here. You were fighting against four really smart ladies, and you're the last man standing. So, good job, congratulations. Uh, we know you like badminton, and tell us something else about you. I wanna be a teacher. You wanna be a teacher? What, uh, what subject do you wanna teach? Math. Math, all right. Now, 
Uh, I don't think there's going to be math questions. We'll find out. But we need you to solve a master word. Now, to get to that word, if you've seen the show, you know you've got to go through a crossword puzzle. We have a few prepared for you, some random ones. You choose a letter that's connected to a puzzle. There are three possible puzzles, and they all lead to a master word. Once you solve some of the words, you get some letters. And of course, at the very end, I'll give you two words connected to that master word and 10 seconds to solve it. So, you ready? Let's see those letters. B, D, and S. S. S is the choice. One more thing. If you at some point want to say pass, you can three times. But that's going to eat five seconds off the clock. Good luck. This tells you how heavy something is. Pass. Before going swimming, you put your clothes in here. Pass. In movies, these strangers come from space. Alien. A jewel usually used in a wedding ring. Diamond. At this time, you can see the moon. Night. You make someone believe something which is not true. Pass. If you mix red and white, you get this color. Pink. You use this to remove wrinkles on clothes. Okay. Good job. Good job. Now, I was kind of worried, but you did get to a crucial hint, which led to a big letter. That's the first one. Always got to get that first letter. You got it. It's C. Obviously, there's a D in there somewhere as well. It's a long word. So, what are the two master well, the two hints that'll help you with the master word. The first one is captain. Captain. The second one, I'll give it to you and then I'll give you 10 seconds to solve the master word. It's Chang Bogo. You have captain and Chang Bogo and 10 seconds. Give me your answer, give me your answer, give me your answer. The answer is... Commander! Commander, very good job. Not easy, not easy. Excellent job. Okay, school champion, being on the stage is not an easy thing. You feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. Of course, he wanted to be the uh, the guy to take home the big prize, but he did a, a very good job. Let's give him some, some applause, huh? Yeah. All right. Okay. A lot of pressure being here, but he did it, we did it, and you did it. Thanks for joining us, and please join us again next time on Super Kids Bye Bye! Super Kids has some very special prizes to give away. The Super Kid wins a family tour ticket to the Philippines. The school champion, a digital camera. Second, third, and fourth, fifth places, MP3 players. And all contestants get a cultural gift voucher. The family tour ticket to the Philippines is sponsored by the Philippine Department of Tourism, Korea. Yes, yes. Person. 
And what's your last 20? Don't know. Let's see what happens. Not easy. These are first. And also a tough one. That's the 